What is up guys? So yes, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, which is WWE Talk, um, and I'm going to kind of change it up. What I used to do in my previous videos was I used to kind of talk about every storyline that's going on, but I want to kind of change it up for this one because of course we've got the Royal Rumble coming up this month, so I want to focus this video on the Royal Rumble my predictions, who I think is going to win it and what I think is going to kind of lead up to Wrestlemania um, and things like that. So I've kind of compiled a little list of potential winners who I believe are sort of the favourites to win the Rumble this year. So I'll go through each, um, each wrestler and kind of talk you through why I think they could win it and things like that. So let's kick it straight off with number one. I think Batista is a very strong candidate this year. Of course, it's very heavily advertised that Batista is returning to WWE on the 20th of January on Monday Night Raw. Who knows if, if it's full-time or part-time. Personally, for me, I'm excited to see Batista back because he is no doubt, no doubtly a big star in WWE. But let's not forget he's got a movie coming out this year. He's in the new Marvel movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. Who knows if he's here just to kind of plug that film a little bit, kind of work sort of WrestleMania season and then he's going to disappear again. To be honest, I don't see him turning full time again. I don't think he's going to be in the full time roster, but there's no doubt it is going to be exciting to see Batista back because like I said, he is a big star. Definitely has to be cont um, a contender for the Royal Rumble. He's a huge favourite to win it because obviously he's such a big star and he's returning. There's going to be all eyes on Batista. So that's why I believe Batista is one of the favourites to win uh, the Rumble. Number two, Roman Reigns. I honestly believe this is the year of Roman Reigns. I've said it for a long time that Reigns is sort of the the powerhouse of the Shield. Everyone knows it. He's been clearly getting a, a push uh, lately on the latest uh, Raw, old school Raw. He beat CM Punk. That's something that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins haven't been able to do. So obviously, it seems like Roman Reigns is going to have a good stellar career away from the Shield. Um, and it looks like the Shield is starting to sort of crack up a bit now. In my opinion, I believe in the Rumble they're going to turn on each other, I think. One of them will eliminate the other and then that will kind of spark the beginning of the end of the Shield. Um, because it's been a long time, I think the Shield have been around for sort of a year and a half bit longer than that maybe um, so I, I have been thinking that it's time to sort of end it soon but I do love the Shield um, and I am very interested to see what happens I think if any of them are going to win the Rumble it would be Roman Reigns because of the push he's been getting um, and it really wouldn't surprise me at all but yeah I definitely see something interesting happening in this Rumble either one of them will eliminate the other or they'll all turn on each other something like that something's going to happen in this Rumble and I'm really looking forward to seeing that so yeah my, my second pick of who it could be would be Roman Reigns next one is CM Punk um, of course Punk is a huge favourite as well I, he's been getting a huge push as well lately with the whole um, Shield rivalry going on. He hasn't really got too much of a long-term storyline going on. They did tease that he would be going off against uh, Shawn Michaels a couple of weeks ago, but that seems to have been forgotten about now. I did start to wonder whether we'll have Punk versus Michaels at WrestleMania, but um, who knows. Um, that's why I kind of think Punk is a favourite to win the Rumble. He hasn't really been in the main event seen since he was champion really since the rock was around um he really hasn't had that main sort of storyline that you tune into raw every week for so i think that they might do that with punk they might kind of give him the win just to give him back and put him back in the limelight sort of thing um so yeah i wouldn't count against i wouldn't bet against punk uh winning the rumble um next one is daniel bryan of course daniel bryan has had probably the best year of his career completely over by the fans he's the he's the hot topic of wrestling at the moment everyone talks about daniel bryan and the, and the yes chance um it's very strange decision in my opinion to for wwe to make him join the wyatt family i really didn't get that i i personally believe he's still gonna come out of this a face i think something will happen as a rum in the rumble to do with the wyatts with brian coming out on top um i don't believe that they're gonna have him in the wyatt family in the long run but as a full-blown heel because he's too popular for that he's too over with the fans he just won the fan favorite of the year at the slammy awards literally every um arena they go in around around the world daniel bryan is the topic i've been to two uh, live events here in london and both times were dominated by daniel bryan yes chance um 
so he's loved all around the world and to suddenly suddenly make him a heel just like that and join the Wyatt family I don't think it's a wise decision that's why I don't believe it's it's sort of genuine I think he's going to come out of this on top and I think that could be a reason why he may win the Rumble of course it would lead on to um, him main eventing Wrestlemania 30 as well so that would be a huge huge deal really and would really make Daniel Bryan step up from this upper mid carder which he kind of is at the moment into a full blown sort of A-list wrestler along the likes of John Cena and Randy Orton um, and CM Punk of course so I think this could be the year where we see Daniel Bryan step up just that extra step up into the big time um, so yeah I wouldn't get against Bryan either Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar of course made his return a couple of weeks ago by um, attacking Mark Henry on this most recent Raw he uh, attacked Mark Henry again but then we saw a little big show confrontation as well which might spark a little thing between them which kind of makes me think maybe they're not focusing Brock on the Rumble too much if they're leading into like a big show storyline but if Brock Lesnar is in the Royal Rumble I really wouldn't bet against that either I think he definitely obviously is a powerhouse obviously he's going to be eliminating nodes so if he is in it he'll definitely be in the final sort of three or four um, who knows if he'll win it though because he of course he is a part time I don't know if they'll focus such a big sort of storyline on a part time wrestler I don't think Brock Lesnar would be on Raw every week up until Wrestlemania um, so that's the only reason that kind of makes me believe that it wouldn't be Brock um, just to kind of switch back to uh, Batista and everything obviously Brock Lesnar they've declared that they're he wants to kind of go after the title and um, the WWE World Heavyweight title. If he wins that before WrestleMania, and Bat if Batista wins the Rumble, I believe that Brock Lesnar will be champion for WrestleMania because I think if Batista wins, we'll get Batista versus Brock at the main event of WrestleMania 30. That's my that's my prediction. If Batista wins. Brock Lesnar will be champion at WrestleMania. Maybe he'll win it at Elimination Chamber or, or something like that. Um, that's just kind of what I've been thinking. It would be kind of a huge epic main event. And WWE really needs to do something huge for the 30th WrestleMania. And I think Batista versus Brock Lesnar is a potential candidate for that kind of huge pay-per-view match that a lot of people would tune in to buy. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my side prediction. And finally as well, a returning superstar, and I believe Sheamus is worth a look in. Sheamus has been gone for many months now, more or less nearly a year I'd say. Um, so obviously he is heavily rumoured to be returning in the Royal Rumble, it really wouldn't surprise me as well. Um, and I think if he doesn't win it, he'll definitely again, he'll be in the top sort of four or five. Um, who knows if he'll come back face or heel it would be interesting to see but at the same time I don't really want to see Sheamus win because he hasn't been around all year he hasn't been involved in any of the current feuds and storylines so to come back and win the Rumble and then for Sheamus to main event WrestleMania 30 just doesn't excite, excite me at all I'll probably get the same feeling as when Del Rio won the Royal Rumble back in 2011 very very boring winner and I don't think we should get that again so yeah those were my sort of six predictions. We've got Batista, Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar and a possible Sheamus. Out of those who I want to win, I really want Roman Reigns to win. I think he's got the potential to be a very, very good superstar in the future. He's got all he's got it all. He's got the body, he's got the kind of character, he's got great mic skills, he's got the proper wrestling background with the um, the Samoan family background, he's got he's related to the rock, the Usos, all the famous Samoan wrestlers, he's in it. So he's got the long line of wrestling history. And I think he's got a bright future, like I said, and I think if the Shield, if someone from the Shield is going to win this Rumble, it will be Roman Reigns, um, and I'm really excited to see it. It's, it's shaping up to be a really great Rumble this year. Um, so yeah, guys, leave your thoughts down below on who you believe is going to win the Royal Rumble this year. It's going to be really exciting to see. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my predictions. Like I said, leave your comments down below, and I'll look through those. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.